Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. And I don't know if you can hear this. My, I've got little uh, Bad Ears McGee in my pocket, and he's just been yipping up a storm. I don't know if he's going to keep doing it. You going to yip for me again? You going to yip? He's not going to yip. He's been going yip, yip, yip in my pocket, and... He'll do that. He'll make that noise, and the others will make that noise periodically, too. I don't know what that means, but he was yipping, and it's, they're usually not loud. They usually don't make sounds, but this is Bad Ears McGee, and he was busy yipping in my pocket, so he's up and out of my pocket. He's, he's Mr. Bad Ears McGee. Yesterday, he kept his ears crinkled up next to his head. Uh, I had him downstairs, and I shared, you know, we took him outside, when we dabbed, and I shared a dab or two with him. And that's just, you know, after I take a dab, I'll go like this. And I'll exhale onto their face. Because it helps them, too. And they have gone and relaxed and had good nights. And I have saved the lives of many of my hamsters who have had tumors. I've given them tincture or other forms of, you know, THC stuff and their tumors have gone away. I have saved their lives and I have eased the pain on the ones who have had their tumors much too advanced so that they couldn't survive. Here we go, little guy. By giving them tincture or such like that, I have killed their pain so that they have been able to ease their way out instead of hurting so bad. If you can't save them, at least make them so they're not suffering. Is that Bobo again? Yeah, Bobo, he is just, he's a crazy hamster. He waits like hours and hours and hours where he just doesn't drink. And then he attacks that thing and then just, well, you can probably hear him through the condenser mic. He's just going crazy on that thing. And he's going to do that for like five minutes until he fills himself up like a camel. And then he's going to not drink again for hours, at which point he'll attack it again. Thumbs up. Not really thumbs up, but he's loud now, so my apologies. On that note... Come on. Come on. Come on. It's little Mama Squeak. Mama Squeak. Everybody loves that Mama Squeak. I don't know if that's true of everybody loves Mama Squeak, but she is another wonderful hamster. And I'm just showing off all my hamsters that are in reach today. She is such a sweetie, too. She's very active most of the time. Right now, she's just being a lump. But that's okay, because I just woke her up, so she doesn't really know what's happening yet. <laughs> she's a sweetie, though. Here we go, little one. That's Mama Squeak. And then, as you see, that's Bobo back there, the little orange fellow. And then over there is uh, Mama, not Mama Squeak, Little Squeak Jr., who took on um, little, she used to be little Squeak. Mama Squeak used to be little Squeak until she had babies, at which point she became Mama Squeak. And then little Squeak Junior, she clicked and squeaked when she was young and breathing too. So she became little Squeak Junior. That's why Mama Squeak has her name Squeak because she clicked and squeaked because she was the runt when she was born. We were all worried that she wasn't even going to grow up. It's so just a little pinky and then a little, little cub. She just clicked and squeaked. You could get her close to your ear and she was just click, 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 when she breathed. And it was, we worried, but she's turned out to be a good, healthy hamster. It is a very good thing. And yes, again, these are criminally small cages. And as soon as I can, I'm going to have to get new ones because these are too small. I still have to talk to my roommates about the uh, rent situation. We're going to see what happens because I, you know, I'm paying a lot and I can't quite do that. So we're going to see what happens. So thumbs up on that. I have written down a few things that I wanted to talk about. Not a whole lot. I spent, it, because of the heat, I don't do well. 
I mean, I do not do well in heat, and because of the heat that we've been having over the past couple days, which is only going to get worse as August and then halfway through September rolls up, it's just going to get hotter and hotter. I don't do heat well. I collapse and melt and pass out in heat, so thumbs up for that. So yesterday I did a lot of trying not to collapse up here. I did go for a walk. I took a walk down to the post office. Um, in the past month, I got this. So I do have a letter. People have said, hey, you should open up your letters that you get in on your webcam. Well, I do when I get enough. I do them. But in the past month, this is all I've gotten. So, uh, you know, if I save it up, to do a grand opening when I've gotten enough, it's going to be two or three years before I ever do it again. But So I'm going to do this one like tomorrow, but hopefully I'm going to get some, I mean during Christmas time, around last, last Christmas time, when the internet spotlight was on me, I was getting stacks of cards and letters every single day. Now six months later, uh, I get a card or a letter, you know, once a month. So thumbs up. But there was a, one thing I wanted to mention. I've been thinking about this one a lot because I hate bugs and we've got so many bugs because of the bug factory out there. In the United States, of course, we are freakish and weird about all sorts of things. One of them is bugs, of course. You know, we've got all these advertisements for bug killer and bug spray and bug killing people that'll come in and get the bugs out of everything and will poison everything to make sure there's no bugs anywhere. And yet, 80% of the world incorporates insects into their diet on purpose and yet that grosses us out so badly. One of the things I remember watching and I keep thinking about when I'm going out walking because I can't imagine doing it. But if I had to survive, I imagine I would. But it was around a dinner time and this was, I would imagine it was like in Africa, but there were clouds of insects over in, sh in these field areas. And this was not a, a professional made thing. This was just a handheld thing. And so they had these kids with nets that were just running around with the nets through the clouds of gnats and stuff. And then the, in the nets, there would just be masses, crawling masses of bugs. They would collect all these together and the people would just mash them. They'd just mash them in the nets and then mush them out and then mash them until they would have wads of insect mush, just paste from all these gnats and mosquitoes and other flying bugs that were captured until it was like a, like a kilogram wad of insect protein that they just mushed them until they became that black wad of insect flesh. Formed them into patties, fried them up on a grill, and then ate them up. They were just these solid black, all the way through solid black uh, patties of insect bodies that they were eating. And it's like, I'm horrified by that. But I can understand it. I mean, it's insects are huge amounts of protein. I don't know what they taste like. I've never eaten a bug on purpose that I know of. <laughs> so I don't know what they taste like. I don't know what a burger would taste like of, of gnats. But that's a good source of food. They're excellent protein. They're very nutritious, but it's just... Ugh, I can't imagine doing it myself. They've got this show on cable on Discovery Channel called Naked and Afraid, which is an artificial thing. They, you know, they'll take a couple, two people, strip them naked, drop them off somewhere in the in a forest or, or you know somewhere around the world, whether it's in the United States or around the world, and then they've got to survive with a camera crew watching them, you know, for three weeks with no clothing, no weapons, no nothing, just they're allowed to bring one thing with them. After that, it's they got to find it and make it on their own. You know, like somebody might bring a fire starter and someone else might bring fishing line or someone brings along, you know, some net and then they go from there. I mean, it's an artificial survival thing because you're not trying to do anything but survive until the time's over. Nobody lives in that sort of just state like that 
you can't plan for the future in this sort of thing. They're just planning on survive until tomorrow, until the time runs out. So nobody makes clothing. They very rarely work on their supports and their shelters beyond just a rudimentary shape. And it's just, yeah, you're surviving and you can prove that you're doing it, but you're not surviving in a going forward state. You're surviving in a holding pattern. So I don't know. It's awesome that they can survive in a setting like that, but all you're doing is surviving. You're not living, you're just surviving. So that's just my view on that. Thumbs up. I don't know why I started or where, but there we go. And then, of course, they're bringing the Squirrel Girl into a Netflix Squirrel Girl series. If you've never heard of Squirrel Girl, in the Marvel comic universe is, uh, once again, Adam Troy Castro. He summed this up real well. He was talking about this. He was amazed and happy that they're making the Squirrel Girl series. Because he says, when someone said, well, what's the thing with Squirrel Girl? She taunts, she taunts dogs. And it's like, you wanna know her deal? Let us put it this way. The first 16 Marvel movies, including both Avengers movies and both Guardians of the Galaxies movies, have been an exercise in building up the villain that every villain, oh, every hero introduced so far, including Doctor Strange and Black Panther, everybody will have to fight. Thanos, who is in the comics the single most dangerous bad guy they have. This is a guy who knocked out Thor with a single gesture. Okay, 16 movies with the next two Avengers movies, a team effort between them and the Guardians to take him out. In the comics, Squirrel Girl defeated him off panel. And the impression was that it wasn't much of a fight. And yeah, I remember I've seen that panel. She's just standing, just going like, you know, and Thanos is out cold, knocked down flat. And it's like, yeah. You know, she's not somebody you want to just laugh at too much. In the official canon of the uh, Marvel Universe there, Squirrel Girl is pretty tough. <laughs> very, very cool. But then that's all I've really written down on stuff that I wanted to talk about because it's been boring and, and awful, my life has. Aside from the walk that I made down to the post office and such, I didn't do much yesterday. I did a lot of falling asleep in the heat. I need to get a fan. I still don't have a fan. I don't have any money to get a fan, but I got to get a fan that I can put in this room because it's on the second floor and it gets hot because there is electronic equipment in here. Without a fan, I just melt in here as soon as it hits afternoon. And I can't go anywhere else because all my, all my stuff is in here. So yay. But anyway, though, I've opened up 20 four hours worth of comments on my community tab on my channel so that I have 24 hours worth of comments in chronological order from the latest one to, well, 24 hours ago. I'm not going to go back a year. What would be the point of that? Because I'm just going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me comments. I'm not reading the comments yet. I'm going to read, thumbs up, and answer as many comments as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for leaving a comment. A good comment, a bad comment, an indifferent comment, it's all the same. They're all comments. You're getting me out of my head, into the world, and interacting with people. And that is awesome. So thank you so very much. Even thank you for the troll comments. Because, again, you get me out of my head and dealing with real people. So that's an awesome thing. And if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I'm terrible at names. Better than I thought I would be, but still not as good as I could be. I'm a Native American English speaker, and as such, I have some issues with, with names. So if you'd like to have a shout out, just toss it down in the comments. And if I catch it, you have a guaranteed shout out. I did not see any at this time. So we will start off with, it's Chrome, so who knows if... Oh, it's locking up and acting weird, so yay. Uh, Creature, thank you very, very much. And Lambo Rambo, greatly appreciated. We have Tuna, 1989, thank you very much, has our name. And then there is Nekokuza, thank you very, very much, greatly appreciate. Breaker Game, son of a gun. Braden Myers, thank you very, very much. 
Mouse Reads the World. Heck of a name, son of a gun. Thank you very, very much. And then there's Spreton Rosick. Thank you very, very much. Crasius, greatly appreciated. And Tracy McGill, thank you very, very much. Amaya the Otaku, thank you very, very much. Uh, Cisco Williams, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Aaron Poole, thank you. And Amber Dean, thank you very, very much. Then there is B Space Dan, <laughs> son of a gun, thank you very, very much. Jamie's Division, son of a gun, thank you very, very much. And then I Record 100, oh, well, son of a gun, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Gurren Logan, one again, one again. Once again, thank you very much. Uh, animals are awesome, thank you very much. Simple sounds, no copyright music, thank you very, very much. Ukulele unicorn, yeah, that's a heck of a unicorn too, thank you very, very much. Only your girl, thank you, greatly appreciated. Troy Horvath, thank you very, very much. And then there is official T Murdoch, thank you. And last but not least, we have Floyd Mortlock. Son of a gun, thank you all very, very much. Get me out of my head, into the world, and that is a very, very good thing. Now what I'm also going to do, because I still do have time, son of a gun, is I'm going to do my greetings. I like to say greetings, good morning, to as many people as I can in their home language. If you would like to hear a greeting in your home language, if you drop it into the comments, I still have to put the proper Arabian, no, not Arabian, Arabic term for good morning in there. I haven't done that yet, and I'm very sorry. And the Turkish greeting is also as well, good afternoon and not good morning. But other than that, bon dia, dia deed, dia guit, guten tag, ahanu asil, buenos dias, buna dimanata, ohio, le breed, labas ritas, kamusta, bonjourno, terra homocos, yora gelt, bari baive, bari luce, ni hao, kalimera, bonjour, bokertov, jean dobri, or less formally, chest, labdien, dobre utro, mesa ol haley, dobre rano, bereda, priviet, Merhaba, and of course, go forth and have the crack. Good food, good drink with good friends. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage, doesn't have to be mounds of crack cocaine, doesn't have to be a prostitute spreading her thighs for you. Nope, the crack. Good food, good drink with good friends. I think I'm just a little bit too close in that one direction. Of course, it's been nagging at me because that half inch is going, eh. oh, my brain, you gotta love it. Well, if you could check out my links, you just click on Show More. They open right up. There's all sorts of things. There's like Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google Plus. I got a blog, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you, my thanks to everybody who's donated to my GoFundMe campaign to keep me alive. You have been keeping me alive. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. Thank you so very, very much. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that would be very, very awesome. Greatly appreciated. You don't have to, of course. In fact, you know, I accept good wishes as a deposit in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thumbs up on that. Thank you very much. My thanks to every single one of my Patreon.com patrons. You are beautiful, wonderful people. You have literally been helping to keep me alive and staying in this house with a roof over my head and food in my belly. Thank you so very much. It is greatly appreciated. I have found that I really like being alive. It is a good thing. Thank you so very much, every single one of you. You are really, really good people thumbs up. If you can toss me a like, that would be wonderful. I do appreciate all the positive validation I can get from my existence. And if you can don donate, no, subscribe to the channel. That would be very, very awesome. Uh, do, I derailed my own train of thought. Let's see, if you can donate, I'm saying donate again. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very cool. Though, I would understand if you don't. I am a weird older guy. I'm not for everybody. I know that. But if you are down with it, then thumbs up. Hope to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Now, of course, you may have heard the rumors about me enslaving people after death, working them like dogs for all eternity with backbreaking labor. And while that is true, every single person was not fooled. They did have to read and sign a contract that was written in 8th century Estonian. True, but that was the best way to get the contract and the legalities across. Nobody speaks it, but still, just sign, it's fine. Even backbreaking labor. Regeneration, you'll never know it the next day. So thumbs up. Well, hey, I got a game video coming up. 
I've got a reaction video coming up. I got my other channel verified, so I'm going to be doing more game videos than I have been doing, so thumbs up on that. I'm going to be hopefully live streaming again here soon. I haven't been able to do it. I've been dying in the heat. I am so sorry about that. Well, you take care. Have a very, very good day today. As stated, I'm going to have a reaction video coming up. i got a game video coming up. I don't know what game video. We'll find out, though. But you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. Now I've got just a few seconds left. Might as well stretch that out to make it 20 seconds. There we go. Bye.